Hey friends, so today I thought I would do a faves and fail video. I've never done one of these and I know there are quite a few creators who do them on a monthly basis. I don't know if I'll end up doing it monthly, but you know, I just had some things that I was absolutely loving this month and a few things that we'll talk about that maybe were not so much favorites. <laughs> I don't know about fit. One definitely was a fail and then two are in this sort of like quasi I don't know. Anyway, we'll get to that. But I just thought this would be fun. So let's get into it. So let's start with a favorite. And mostly what I have here, guys, are favorites, which I think hopefully that means that my purchasing is is getting better, right? It means that I'm enjoying what I'm purchasing. But I think this first one is one that no one is going to be surprised at. And that is my Nueve puzzle bag. So I... I cannot tell you how many times I have used this bag since I officially unboxed it or revealed it to you all. I actually had been using it a little bit even before I showed it on my channel, but I love it. I love that it's doing this, you know, slouch thing. It is the perfect neutral color. It really makes me think that I need need and a tube bag from Hermes because it's a very similar color but I just think I love the squishy leather I just think I just think it's a great bag now FYI in case you haven't heard and you are interested in the puzzle bag they are actually discontinuing this like OG model so as you can see this has you know several puzzle pieces and they are going to discontinue this and they are only going to carry the puzzle edge is what it's called. Now, interestingly enough, the puzzle edge has fewer puzzle pieces. So it doesn't have this, if I remember correctly, it doesn't have this seam here. So this piece of leather wraps around here and th there's probably another piece that I'm, I'm not that familiar with, but I, I'm pretty certain that this wraps around. So there's no like edging here. So there are fewer puzzle pieces, which means it should be easier to sew and they charge more for it. <laughs> so they're discontinuing, like I said, the original, this original version of the puzzle bag in all sizes from what I understand. And the only bag they're going to carry going forward after they you know, go through all their stock that they have is the puzzle edge. So if that is something that you are interested in, if you are interested in a puzzle bag, I would highly recommend that you get one sooner than later. And that usually means when something is discontinued that the price on the resale market is going to go up. So like I said, I would probably try, try to do your purchasing sooner rather than later. But this bag, 100% on the favorites list. My name is Lisa, and if you're new here, I love to do videos on luxury handbags, shoes, ready to wear. I like to do some styling videos, and I do those things from the perspective of someone who is in the middle of her life, as well as someone who is mid-sized. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, I would love it if you would join us here. Click that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to a creator when you subscribe to their channel. And of course, the notification bell, so you know every time I upload a video. My next favorite is this perfume by Perfumes de Marly, and it is the Valaya perfume. So I revealed this perfume, oh, it's probably been maybe a month and a half or so. And you know, you can see I've actually used quite a bit of it. That for me is a lot of perfume to use when I have, as you can see, quite a few to choose from. By the way, I think we're going to do, when I say we, I mean me and Hannah, are going to do a video where she ranks all of my spring summer perfumes using one of those like tier app things. She thought that would be fun to do. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good idea. I think it would be fun because she definitely has some opinions about my fragrances. <laughs> but anyway, this has just been great. In fact, I was wearing this on the day that I met with Emily, my one of my subscribers here in New York, and she asked me about what I was wearing. And like I said, it's just been a great fragrance. It definitely lasts. So you don't need a lot of this to, you know, really get a fragrance. Like I sprayed it kind of by accident on my sheets. And I mean, I could smell it like, you know, for the week until I washed the linen. So anyway, highly, highly recommend this Parfums de Marly new fragrance, Valaya. 
All right, let's move on to a fail. That's not really a fail. It's just a fail for me for now. And you'll understand it when I show you. And it is my very trusty and well-loved sunglasses from Louis Vuitton. And I'm sorry, I'm catching the ring light in here, but these are the sunglasses that I have literally been wearing since we stepped foot in New York because they were the only sunglasses I had. <laughs> All of my other sunglasses were packed, although that is a lie and I will show you that in just a second. I, as you know, was getting really tired of wearing these. These have the LV on the side here. And then of course they have, which I don't know that you're gonna be able to see, you can kind of see it there, but I know you guys have seen it in my videos where it has the fleur-de-lis and the LVs actually in the lenses. And like I said, I love these sunglasses, but they are currently a fail because I am so tired of wearing them. Just an FYI, anything that I'm mentioning today that I can link, I will link in the description box below. So, you know, I should be able to link, for example, those Louis Vuitton sunglasses. If any of you are interested in them, I, like I said, I love them. And the next item, and that brings me to sort of the sunglass thing that I've found recently, are my roses from Rose Forever New York. Again, this is not sponsored, this is not paid, I just, I love them. Now, like I said, I am keeping them with the top on because of the dust. You can actually kind of see the dust on here right now. I mean, I can dust them every single day and it will look like that like within hours. But I chose this lilac color. I think they are beautiful. And as you can see, I am storing my sunglasses in this bottom, which is what I told you that I was going to do. So what I discovered when I was looking for, I think I was doing a what fits in some bag, I don't even remember, and I was pulling things out of my SLG little like container that I keep things in, and I found these Chanel sunglasses. I didn't know that I had these like available to me, but like I said, I love these. I, for the time being, I found a place, I moved everything down on my shelves so I could put this on the top, and it's been great. I've been loving them so far. Uh, I do still have, I believe, I assume the discount code still works. So if you are interested in these, like I said, check out the description box and you can save $25 on your purchase. But I have loved having these and I love having them displayed. I love seeing them every day when I walk over and pick out my fragrance. So this is definitely a favorite. My next favorite is also from Lueve kind of a trend here and they are my flow runner sneakers so I love these I am very very happy I was able to get them as I mentioned I you know tried to get them through Bergdorf or Neiman's but it was going to be a wait until October so I put my name on the wait list on the Loewe website and sure enough I got a notification and I checked out so fast <laughs> because I really, really wanted this color combination. I am thinking about getting them in the white as well, but we'll see. I also have my eye on one of the Chanel sneakers from 23A, so we'll see what happens. Obviously, these are a little more affordable than the Chanel ones, but I just think this is a great colorway. They do also come with black laces, so I can interchange those. They are super comfortable. I've worn them walking around the city for hours. I think I wore these actually when I went with Nick. Pretty sure I had, yes, I did. I had these on when Nick and I went to Woodbury Common, so we were doing a ton of walking then. I had these on when Emily and I went shopping during that vlog when she was visiting. And yeah, they've just been a great, great sneaker. I would highly recommend. And again, I'll have these linked below if you're interested. All right, I'm gonna go back to a fail. And this one is sort of related to Lueve. And I will explain why this is a fail. So what I'm gonna show you is this basket bag actually from Amazon. So as you can see, it looks very, very similar. It is definitely a dupe for the Lueve small basket bag. It of course though, as you can see, has absolutely no branding on it. It is just a plain patch of leather. There's no Lueve anagram logo on it. There's no branding on the inside, nothing like that. 
So I got this for the sole purpose of testing it out to see if I would want to spend the money on the Loewe basket bag. As you will have seen, uh, if you haven't, I'll link it above, but my best summer bags video that I just released, I talked about this basket bag and the fact that I have been lusting after it ever since I saw Emma Hill carry it years ago. And I've just, I've admired it. I think it's the perfect summer bag, but I thought, you know what, let me test it out. So it's not that I think that it's a fail, but it's made me realize that I don't want the Loewe version. I don't think that I would carry it enough. I took it when we went to Coney Island for Father's Day, and while I liked it, it's just... I don't know that it's the best bag in the city. Now, maybe if I put a pouch in it or something so my things weren't, like, out, you know, for the whole world to, like, see. And, you know, it's very open, as you can see. I mean, it's not, like, you know, you can't even, like, cinch it closed or anything. So when, you know, when you're carrying it, it's just like that. So it, I like it. I will, you know, use it occasionally, but it is a fail from the standpoint of, I know now that I don't want the Loewe version. So there you go, like $600 saved, check. My next favorite is the jewelry that you see me wearing. So I talked about this in a previous video, again, not sponsored, not paid here. I have been wearing, and if you've been watching my videos for probably the last month since I unboxed these, I have been wearing, especially the necklace, literally nonstop. I have not taken it off. I've layered it a couple times with, you know, another necklace here or there, but for the most part, I've been just wearing it by itself. Now I am wearing the stud earrings. I don't have like the drop part that I also got from Ideal just because I didn't want to wear those today. So I've been wearing just the studs pretty often as well. When I traveled to Tucson to see my mom, I did have both the stud and the drop on it. And those were literally the only earrings I took with me to Tucson. But they are just, I love that I can shower in them. I love that I can do anything in them. You know, they're not gonna turn, they're, you know, actual diamonds, it's actual gold. I just love, like I said, that I can wear them and like I said, kind of set it and forget it and leave them. So yeah, I have been loving my ideal jewelry. Let's talk about some makeup favorites. So the first is my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. There we go. In the shade 390. And as you'll be able to see, you know, I definitely have used it here. A little goes a very long way. This is actually the travel size. So I would highly recommend getting this size. I don't honestly think you need any more of this. I mean, like I said, this will probably last me a couple of years just because there's a quite a bit of product in here and I love the smaller packaging on it. Like I said, I think this travel size is awesome. So I would highly recommend this. This does go in and out of stock, especially this particular shade, which is the lightest shade. I think there are three shades now. Originally, when they first came out with it, they only had the one shade, but now they make it in three. But like I said, I will have it linked below. I will try to find several places that have it in stock because like I said, this does go in and out of stock quite frequently. And sticking with makeup, we will do the other makeup product that I have been loving this month. And that is actually the lip color that I am wearing. And this is from MAC and it is the Cream Sheen version, which especially I don't know, in, in summer I like a little more kind of glossy look and it's not really glossy, but it does have a little more sheen to it and it is in the color Hot Gossip. So you can see it's just a really pretty pink. I think it's, like I said, it's a beautiful shade for spring, summer. I love the way the cream sheen formula feels on my lips. It's really emollient, but it's not so emollient that it like, moves. So, you know, if you are at an age like I am where I am starting to get, you know, fine line, vertical lines around my lip area, you can find that then your lip products travel up into those lines. So this one I find is creamy, but not so creamy that it travels. Another favorite, my MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Hot Gossip. 
let's go back to a fail. Now this one I wouldn't say is 100% a fail, but it fails, I would say, in comparison to what it is supposed to be like. And I am talking about these sandals from Steve Madden. Now, I got these specifically because the Oran sandals that I have in the Noisette, I think is how you say it, and linen color that I got and unboxed on my channel, gosh, almost a year ago probably because we were still in our house at that time. Those, I love those, and those are the perfect summer sandal. I love that it has the linen aspect to it, but unfortunately, like I said, it's in storage. Let's all say that maybe that should be like the, the phrase of my channel. I should be like, all together, it's in storage. So I didn't have like a neutral colored sandal to wear this summer. <laughs> but maybe I just need more time to break these in, but I just, I kind of thought that these would actually be more comfortable than the Orans, especially from the get-go, but I've had quite a few blisters while wearing these, so I definitely need to make sure when I have these on and I'm walking that I've got some Band-Aids on hand in case I need to like wrap, and I especially find it um, on my pinky toe, it really rubs on here, so you know, for 60 bucks, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not that upset about it. So unfortunately the Steve Madden, I don't know. I'll, again, I'll have everything linked below. I don't remember what the name is, but whatever the name of these sandals are, were a fail. My next favorite are my new Chanel sunglasses. You knew those probably had to be on the list too, right? Obviously I have been wearing these nonstop since I got them. They're probably a little bit dirty. I'm sorry if they are, but they are just, you know, classic black sunglass with the acetate frames. But of course the party is on the side here with the, you know, multicolor Chanel wording on the side. So I just, I think they're a great shape. I love the way they look on my face and yeah, they're just a great sunglass. And my last fail, before I get to my final favorite, is my Louis Vuitton East West Pochette Matisse in the monoglam. <laughs> if you did not see my original video where I discovered that I had the same problem with my East West Pochette Matisse as Deb did from Wild Unfiltered. I will have her channel linked below. I will pop some video up here of where I showed mine that mine indeed had the same issue with a crooked canvas. So this, for those of you who may not know, was actually sort of the second version of this bag. Now the first version I didn't buy, but when I went to go buy this bag, the one that they had in boutique actually had a stitch that was like this long sticking out. Like I, I think I described it as just flying in the wind and that's literally what it was doing. And they tried to tell me that it would be fine and I should just buy it and it was just an end stitch, but I was like, no thank you, get me a new one. So they ordered a new one a second one from somewhere else, I think in Beverly Hills. And that one came and they messengered it to me at my place. And then I went out of town and came back, saw Deb's video, inspected mine, and lo and behold, it had the exact same problem. So that is a definite fail. So I did return that. Uh, I don't know if you actually saw me return it, but you saw me when I went with the kids to Louis Vuitton at Saks. I was trying on that beautiful hot pink Capucines bag. So the kids were trying all those different Louis Vuitton fragrances. That's when I did return the bag because when I called customer service, they told me that uh, I could not take it to another Louis Vuitton because I bought it at the Louis Vuitton at Saks, that I would need to return it there. And then if I wanted to repurchase, I would need to do that basically in two separate transactions because the Saks didn't have another one in stock. So, that was definitely a fail when I went to the flagship store, which you probably will have seen already in this week's vlog. Uh, the one they had there also had the exact same issue. So 
I'm done with the East West Pochette Matisse in the Monoglam. That is no longer going to be in my collection. Like I said, I returned the one I had and I'm not going to buy another one because it seems to be a common issue and I just needed to be done with it. So that is definitely a fail. And my final favorite is this bag and it is my Celine Romy bag. This is the large size in the chestnut maybe. Again, I'll, I'll have things linked below, but I love this bag. Now it's stuffed right now, but I just, I love it. It is so easy to carry. It still smells amazing. The leather on it is incredible. And I guess you can sort of see a pattern here. The two bags that I have in my favorites for this month are both very much understated, which, you know, if you know some of the bags in my collection, especially some of the Fendi ones, they're not so understated. But I would not say that I am a quiet luxury person. I, I, I sort of go back and forth. There are times where I, you know, as Cassie would say, want to be a logo ho. And then there are some times where I want to be a little more quiet. And sometimes you need a quiet bag to go with a loud outfit, right? So you kind of have to balance the yin and yang of, of all that. But this bag, it's like I said, it's just the leather is amazing. It's so smushy and it just, it's been great. And you can, you know, obviously fit the kitchen sink in here with no issues, but yeah, my last favorite, my Celine large Romy bag. So those are my faves and fails, which some a little bit fail and one definite big fail for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below, what have you been loving this month? And do you have any fails? Definitely let us know because it's always good to know what's not working for other people. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would join us here. Just click that subscribe button down below and also the notification bell so you know every time I upload videos, which is normally Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm starting to throw in some Lux Lessons with Lisa videos every now and then where I talk about sort of a reaction to another YouTuber's video or just sort of my take on it or my perspective on how I felt when I watched the video, that kind of thing. So like I said, those are kind of, I throw them in whenever. So make sure, like I said, you have the notification bell on so you know when those videos drop. But thanks again, like I said, for watching wherever you are. I hope you are having an amazing day or evening and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.